Hello, hello, YouTube, and welcome in to a brand new season of Timberborn Z. Oh, we're going to try something new today. We're going to try something a little exciting, a little different. Uh, as mentioned at the uh, the end of the last season, I thought, you know, let's uh, let's let's expand a little bit. Let's try something new. Let's try a new map, and of course, switch over to our lovely Iron Teeth. So I thought, why not? We'll do that. We'll have some fun today. We'll have a fantastic time. Checking out the other faction, oh, the faction of the Iron Teeth, the defectors of the traditional timber ways. They've mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery, achieve progress through ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for the environment. Bum, bum, bum. Their motto, of course, is work hard. Work hard. So, yeah, we're going to work these guys hard. Work hard. <laughs> So to speak. Sorry, 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 not sorry. <laughs> We're gonna play with the Iron Teeth here, guys. I'm looking forward to it. I love playing with the Iron Teeth. It, they bring in a whole new aspect to the game. They've got a whole different set of machinery, a whole different uh, setup for how you've got to actually take advantage of the workspaces. You've got to be very careful with the expansion, the development of the colony, and so you don't exceed the max capacity of the colony and so that you also don't <laughs> max or overperform the uh, the colony size is you could build really fast with these guys but you will far outstrip their ability to actually keep up with the demand of the workspaces so I'm, we're going to try to do that we're, i'm going to try to do that you guys are going to hopefully enjoy what's going to happen here and of course we've got the new maps to choose from uh, or n not new. They've new er new ish since update five. Uh, obviously, you guys saw the. If you haven't seen, I should say, if you haven't seen my playthrough of the Helix Mountain playthrough, just finished that one. That should be dropping. If that didn't drop yesterday, or the day before. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed that. Go check that out. Fantastic video. Shout out to Ella, great editor out there, doing fantastic things for me. But we're gonna we're gonna pick a new map today. We're going to go to terraces. Now, terraces is an interesting map. Because it starts you off in a very different place than normal. So instead of like down in a valley, down somewhere where you've got easy access to, to water in a large area to work with, it puts you right here on top of everything. So you've got to crawl down into the bottom of the valleys to actually start uh, messing with the map. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to offer its fair share of challenges here. There's a lot of bad water to take advantage of, which is going to be great for the Iron Teeth. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. We're going to have so many opportunities to take full advantage of the Iron Teeth's ability to manipulate bad water to their needs. So I'm excited for that. I hope you guys look forward to this series. I'm I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. Let's do it. Let's click this button. We're going to go in. And, of course, we've got to go on hard mode. I'm a glutton for punishment. Hard mode is is it's challenge. It's a challenge. I, I live for the challenge. And I, I think that you guys enjoyed that on uh, Helix Mountain. You know, it, it gave us a challenge to play with. So here we go. We're going to hit this button. We're going to hit start. We're going to come in here, and we're going to name this place Shadowsburg 2. Since this is now officially season two, that's going to be the name of the save. And we'll, we'll name the districts kind of like we did last time around. This will be Shadowville 2 for the, for the district. Okay, but here we go. If I can spell. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're going to pause. What we got? We, got, we always have to pause. Especially on hard mode. So we're going we're gonna to take a pause here. We're going to come in here. We're just going to name this. Shadowville. Uh, yep, that's gonna be Shadowville the second. You know, it's because it, now it's now it's canon, right? Now we've got to take full advantage of that. Now let's take a look at this map. We're gonna take a, a pretty good, nice, solid look and see what we have here. So this is your starting area up here on this terrace. We've got a good, uh, a fairly decent amount of pine to play with. It's not much. So we'll probably have to take. Um, advantage of our cross hatching method to ensure that we don't blow through our entire uh, stockpile of wood uh, starting out because that's all we've got there's no way down here we have to actually get to 
science pretty fast to get to stairs, to get to levees, to get to all of the uh, the floodgates and all that. Because also, this is our our water source. That's our water source here, and we're gonna have to figure out a way to prevent that from destroying our living area here, right? So we've got that. We have another water source over here, so that'll be fun to play with. Um, and a bunch, a bunch of bad water sources down here. So that's four right there. There's an uh, iron mine place where we can, or scrap metal mines too, right there. And that's a scrap metal pile here. Another scrap metal pile here. And let's see, three additional bad water sources. Pile there, pile there. And then another mine here. All right, so that's what we have for the map as a whole. Got, that's where our water goes. It flows right into a bad water river, if you will, down in here. And it looks like all of this converges. I'm not sure why it's stuttering. Game, why are you stuttering? We have nothing loaded here that would cause it to stutter. So that's what we have. This is the map. This is going to be fun. We're going to get to play with bridges a lot more this time around because I want to I want to play on top of these terraces instead of down in the valley the entire time. So bridges will go everywhere, I think, I hope. And, and uh, we'll have a good time doing it. Let's do the thing. Let's do the thing. Let's start planning things out. Let's get things rolling so that we can actually uh, get these guys nice and happy and healthy and thriving like we did for the folk tales so uh on some quick deltas some differences here between what we have between the folk tales and the iron teeth we'll we'll cover this real quick breeding pots unlike the uh the folk tales the iron teeth don't breed the traditional way uh iron teeth preferred and only way to reproduce is the breeding pot so we actually have to maintain these and that's maintained through water and berries and that takes a couple days for, for the next generation to pop out. And, of course, it takes a little bit longer for them to grow up, to reach maturity, so they're no longer kids, they're adults, and they, we can get them to work. So that's something that we have to keep on the back burner, always on, on the back of our mind, because it, it consumes resources, and it takes time. So if we have a situation where we're not keeping up with the, with the population demands, or we have a massive... Uh, Hopefully not a massive extinction event um, like we did that uh, one time. <laughs> um, uh, you know, we're gonna try to avoid that because it would take it'll take a long time to get these guys back up to to the population levels that we're going to need. Um, and some other quick things. So unlike the the um, folk tales, they don't have the wheel that. The, the actual power wheel, you know, where you get one beaver to run in there and generates a little bit of power. No, these guys have the large power wheel. And it's it's a beast. It consumes 100 logs, or it requires 100 logs to get this thing up and running. So we'll be power hungry for the first little bit because there's not enough logs here for us to actually get this thing, get this population up off the ground so we're gonna have to rely on the compact water wheel um for a little bit it's not gonna do much for us because uh well it's hard mode and we're probably gonna see our first drought pretty fast so we're gonna want to get the lumber mill up as soon as possible and uh, get that in uh, ready to go so we can get stuff like the forester running and then we can start getting stairs going and then platforms as well because we're gonna want to get down is I foresee us needing to save some of this water down here. Um, well, we, we're, we're definitely going to need to save a lot of this water down here. Because again, it's hard mode. <laughs> we, need, we need water for days, for weeks, for a dang near month on hard mode. Up to 30 days worth of a bad tide and or a drought. So I want to, I want to make sure that we can do that. Um, and we'll get through the rest of the differences here in a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start working, planning out what we want to do. And priority one, always water. These guys need water yesterday. We're going to get two of those in for now. Path over here so that we can gain access to that. 
perfectly aligned by accident. Oops. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the win there. I'll take the dub. And of course, I like, I always like to go with at least three, three of these. And that's not normally how I set that up, but hey, why not? It's, it's a new, new, new map, new me. Who's this? Who's that? <laughs> We're going to have fun with it. We're going to try to do things differently this time around. I've, I've been playing the same way for the past almost 400 hours in this game. So I mean, why not? Change things up a little bit. And then I'll make fun of myself for making terrible decisions. But hey, that's what we're here for. We're here for the entertainment value of me borking everything up. Great. Great. We'll get two of these guys in. We'll get those up and running. And we'll get a food gatherer over here so we can start getting these berries. Again, we're going to need the berries for our breeding pods. So I'm just going to place two for now. And we're going to pause one. Because... Uh, based off of my experience, one breeding pod will maintain a beaver population of about 11 to 12. Uh, based off the timeline of uh, birth to adulthood and that whole cycle. And then you, it, it goes up by uh, 11 to 12 each breeding pod you go. So I'm going to go with one for now. Just so that we don't exceed our capability to maintain these guys because that's very little it looks like a lot right now but that's not that much in the way of uh, actual food availability so that's gonna that's gonna be a problem that we'll have to address at some point now uh, unlike the folktales these guys have the not the efficient farmhouse they just have a regular farmhouse it takes just two beavers and it, it's not <laughs> very efficient because, uh, well, obviously, it's not the efficient farmhouse. Words, funny, haha. -ha, see what see what happened there. So it takes a little bit more to get this working properly. I've experienced in the past that you need to, at the minimum, to actually maintain the the plant and harvest uh, cycle properly. If you're relying on just one to actually work the system, then you're never going to actually keep up with the demand because half of the field will be completely ready for harvest and these guys especially when you're dealing with kohlrabi which has a very fast grow time it's three days and you get two well, how many you get is irrelevant it's in three days it's already back up and now you've got a cycle of just re-harvesting the same three or four rows before it's already back up and running. So if we want to maintain a, a huge surplus of foodstuffs, then we're going to have to... We have two efficient farmhouses. Now I'll probably set this up uh, kind of like I, uh, like I did with the other playthrough. Um, and have two harvesters and one... Um, and one... Uh, 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 what's the word there? Two harvesters and one planter. That's probably how I'll set that up. So that we can uh, maximize the efficiency there of the uh, the food production and harvesting. So that's going to be good there. And uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to need science. And we're going to need that something fierce. So I think I'm going to take advantage of this uh, base back here. That has a bunch of empty land none of this is air arable or irrigated right now so we're going to take full advantage of that until we can get a system up in here to actually do that and get away from this bad water our future bad water source so we can maintain our crops and everything up here so this will be fine for now um, should we'll eventually get that moved somewhere else i'm not sure where i'm going to put that in the future but for now that's a good enough spot now we're going to avoid housing wow i know how to speak the english language we're going to avoid housing for now just because it takes so much in the way of logs to actually get even their basic barracks up and running yes it houses 10 but it still takes 40 logs and again log limited so not cool not cool okay and I did mention that I need to get this, uh, this lumber mill. Wow. Um, 
Okay, I think I want that right here. And that's the only one we're going to be able to place for now. And get in here. We're going to go into the industrial lumber mill. Now, there, the industrial lumber mill is different from the folktales. It actually goes a bit faster. I think they get, yeah, they get two beavers in here. Um, yeah. It gets two beavers versus the folktales one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm sure that. Uh, I'll be called out in, <laughs> in in the comment section for misspeak there. I think I'm right. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But we're going to get that in there. We're going to place that. Probably didn't need that path right there. But we're going to get that right there. And this will be uh, just a place to hold for now. And once we get stairs, we'll probably expand this a little bit. So we can get more power in here. And then we'll have room, a little bit of room for expansion for the gear workshop. Which will be good. And then, let's see. We need storage. So storage for berries. And we'll get uh, probably a large pile. A uh, large industrial pile for logs up here. And I think that'll be just a temporary placement there for these logs. Uh, on the storage, if you'll notice, there is no underground storage for the uh, iron teeth. The largest is th that they have is the large industrial pile for your stuff like logs and planks and scrap metal and so on. The cool thing is, this is a stackable piece of, uh, uh, or a stackable building, if you will. So that's pretty cool in that we could just stack this until we reach the build limit or the map right it's not cool because uh, it's limited to only 180 units per box but that's uh that's fine now let's get some priority set up so that we can get the things that we actually need up and running i'm gonna hit normal priorities on that one we're gonna max priority prioritize that one we'll set this one to low and i think leaving let's uh let's drop this to a Oh, there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then I think we can bus up here just so everything gets up and running as fast as possible. Probably throw in one more lumberjack. If we can pull from our uh, building hut, that's fine. I think, I think we're good. Hit play. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I feel like I'm about to set off on an adventure. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's jam. All right. There we go. We've got our little guys. So who we got? Who we got running? We got zombie time. We got sticky one nine. Already kicking butt. Taking name. We got Dr. Bean and Mighty Max already in here building all the things for us. And the remainder of our builder or our beaver should hop right into those positions. We're going to kick things up into three times. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to do the thing. Oops. Oops. Pardon me for a few seconds while I uh, do a little... I'm trying, I'm trying a new thing with this. So it doesn't take as long. We're going to do strips here, and we're going to come back in, and we're going to do, instead of a checkered, we're just going to do a cross. I guess it's technically a checkered. I think this is a little bit faster than doing it the one by one, though. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. Maybe. Who knows? Um, Cool story, bro. This there. Bada bing. Bada boom. Uh-oh. Not that one. Of course, that ruins that line. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. The monotony of getting everything set up, right? It's half the fun. Got to make sure these guys are happy, though. Happy, healthy, and rip-roaring and ready to go. That's what we need. That's what we need here. Happy beavers all day, every day. All right. There we go. That should... 
leave enough for the uh, trees to actually propagate as needed. Okay, now we're chopping some wood down. Let's go. I'm loving it. Go. Cool. Got our first deep water pump almost ready. Check on how we're doing here. Um, so, duck bean. So, you start out, everybody's fully uh, full on water and food, so that's pretty good. Um, we are going to plus up the work hours, though, just a tad bit. Pardon the, uh, the incorrect button there. Let's get this set up with water. I forgot to do that. There go. <sighs> We're going to plus up the work hours because they've got nothing better to do right now other than sleep. <laughs> um, and this needs to be max prioritized. So we're going to drop this down by one so that we can keep that up and running. We're going to need water as soon as, as beaverly possible. And this one also, let's get that max prioritized in the workplace. All right. Um, probably bump this on the priority so we don't fall behind on that. And probably bump this storage base because we're gonna need those beaver or berries. He's already full, and that's only 20. This will give us 30, so that'll be good. Everybody's thirsty. Come get your water, guys. We've got Frost Lars 2 1 already pumping his log, getting at it, getting, getting all up in that water. There he goes. Frost Lars, I love the way that you pump that log, my guy. You are doing. God's work right here, my friend. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for your service to be your kind. You're doing amazing things for us. Keep up the good work. Okay, so this one, we're going to drop that down to one. And then this one will have, the second one will be our harvester. And we'll have that at two. Now, don't have the bodies to fill those positions, though. Why do we have thirsty beavers? Oh, they fell asleep thirsty. Okay, that's fine. They're they're fine. No issues. So let's kick that down to two. We have two positions not being filled. I'm gonna hit that. We're gonna go harvester, and I still need. But we're going to pause one of these so that we can get somebody in here. We need science. And we need science yesterday. You guys are sat in your bum because those are all planted. It's going to be another two days before any of that pops up. So you guys can do productive things with yourselves. Probably get that builder back up and running. Actually, we need logs more than building right now. We don't have the logs to build all the things that we want to build. Sweet. Can you guys reach this? You should be able to reach that. Be able to. Um, actually, don't know if you can reach that. We'll pause this one just in case. Just so that doesn't get ahead of us there. Okay, they got this storage in here. That's good. So they can actually get more of these berries. We haven't hit our first drought warning yet. So that's good. Uh, my, my, my luck with droughts. Especially at the beginning, it's like, oh, day three, um, beginning of day four, and there's your drought warning. You're like, I just started the game, game. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> but it's it's fine. All right, science is slowly moving. Um, can we get this built next, please? Yeah, because we have a beaver doing nothing. Okay, how's this coming along? Another day before that pops. So we do have our kits growing up, so that's good. And I believe this is running right now, so we'll have a new kit here. Oh, there's there's our drought warning. Oh my. That's something that I completely forgot to do over here. So that needs to be highest priority. Highest priority right there, because we need that water saved yesterday come on iris priority go 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 okay um let's pause that one pause that one and let's go ahead and 
throw in another two lumberjack flags here. I believe still have some stuff left to cut down. That's going to burn through all of the logs that we have readily available right now. You are sat in your bum because that's outside of your cut area. Don't know if we have enough lumber to actually fill all of this in. It's going to be another, what, 50, 54? So we might have to clear cut this down, or up here. Yeah, let's clear cut this up here, just because this is all going to get eradicated from the, uh, from the first bad tie that's going to roll through. We're not going to have access to the irrigation barriers. We'll get that running. Go ahead and hit this button right here so we can get those beavers working. Please and thank you. Hey, I don't want to do this, but we're going to have to go 24 hours for now. So that we don't run into a situation where we don't have access to all of our drinking water. And irrigation. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, we can unpause that so we can get the food up and running. And I totally forgot to do anything in the way of storage for said food. So let's go ahead and start placing food storage here. You'll be kohrabi. Uh, there. Thank you. And we'll do the same on this side. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, it looks like we're going to get the last one built. And this should, even though it's not technically blocking that corner. Um, this is technically blocked off, so we should save our water back in here. No problems there. We are full on water here, though. I'm pretty pretty stoked by that. Um, do we have any spare beavers running around? You have a bunch here not doing anything. Are we done yet? How much we got left? Four? Okay, you guys can go back to 20 hour work day. You guys should get that knocked out pretty fast. Okay. No, no, no sleeping. Go, go slap it. Go slap it. Come on, one of you guys, wake up. Well, I don't, I don't need to go slap it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. They can get some sleep. They can get some sleep. Look at the science going again. I know how to manage the beavers, I promise. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Look, they're happier now because they have more kohlrabi. And they've got water. Okay, we do not need that running right now, though. We've got 105 units of water uh, to last us four days with uh, 12, 13 beavers in total. That shouldn't be a problem. Now, how is this coming along? That's moving, finally. We have two beavers not doing anything, and we have 33 logs available to start doing something else. Let's see here. What can we get them doing? Now, that's four beavers, but that's a hundred logs. We don't have a hundred logs. Um, we've got uh, science. We could throw down more science huts. Actually, that's probably the best use of their time. So let's do that. We'll throw down two science huts. Just so that they can... Or inventor huts, I'm sorry. So we can max perform our science requirements. Because that's gonna that's gonna hold us back, and we want to get we want to get past this uh, initial 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 stage quickly as beaverly possible. And I think uh, all right, we have the eighty four science, so we can come in here and we can unlock the forester. Now the question is, where do I want the forester? I think. I think, uh, let's see. How, do, how does that work? Right here? How come just swapping where the house, or the, the door is, changes that so drastically? That's crazy. Okay, let's see here. 
kind of want... I want to cover this area as much as possible, but I don't want to encroach on the industrial side of the building area. But all of this is not going to work for us for a period of time because that's all going to be bad water. So probably... Probably best to get this up and running right here, question mark? Or over here. Um, maybe? Yeah, why not? We'll get that there. How much are the stairs? 70? That's not bad. Um, platforms are a hundred, but we need to get this solved. So that's going to be under landscaping. We're going to need 120 for levees. And then I want to use, I think I want to use the triple floodgates. So that's going to be another 500 science. That's going to take a minute to get all that up and running. So let's see. We're going to levee around here. I've seen this a couple times on, on the YouTubes. Shout out to, I believe it was, um, uh, JC the Beard did this, and I believe Kiwi, uh, Random Kiwi Gamer did something along the same lines here. As well as, uh, I think Atomic Gaming did a little punch off here. A little punt. Kick all the bad water off the edge here so it doesn't actually mess with any of the, uh, of the rest of the colony. It's not a perfect solution, but it solves the problem at hand. Then again, I don't know what the perfect solution is to the bad tide. Like, is is just sloughing it off into into the ether the the answer that we need? I'm not sure. You have three positions unfilled, though. Why do we have three positions unfilled? That's two right there. That makes sense. So we are going to drop the priority on these two so that we can keep them working. We don't need you guys sat on your bums doing nothing because there's no actual wood there. We do have planks moving, though. We have planks moving. That's great news. You guys already got the logs in here. We need seven planks for that to get that up and running, and then we can... Go ahead and start planting our pine. I like working with pine in the beginning just because it, it moves fast. Faster, or not as fast as birch, right? But birch takes nine days and you only get one. Pine takes 12 days and you get two. So it's just a three-day difference and you get an additional log each each time around. Um, and oak is good when you're at that stage, right? When you're at the beginning stage and you need... An excessive amount of lumber ready and willing and able to go as fast as everly possible you're not gonna be able to survive waiting on oak it's gonna take too long for this to get produced now if you're just surviving sure and you're maintaining the the status quo the minimum requirements for for your beavers then sure that's what you want to do power to you but if we want to get these guys up and running and off to the races, then we're going to need pine to start out with. We do have the science now, so we've got 220 science, so we can go ahead and unlock our levy. We don't have much in the way of lumber yet. But um, this is getting planted now, and we should be fine come this next dry season. We do have at least, I believe it's three guaranteed uh, droughts before we get hit with our first um, our first bad tide, I believe is how it's supposed to work. But we're going to go ahead and do something like this. And then something like this. And once this gets built... I can put this side in and we're gonna low prioritize this for now just so we don't waste all of our well what are we we're not building anything currently so that's not a problem i don't think 
Um, so that'll be fine. Let's get science moving so you can be paused. Let's get you up into another science hut so you guys can keep running. Should not have dropped that down to 16. Um, ooh, I have, I don't have the lumber to build any additional science huts. That's fine. Um, do need this up and running though. We're not keeping up with the demand. What a 19. Just so that they can have enough time at the end of the day to actually drink water and... Let's drop that down to one. That should be the only vacancy is this inventor hut. Which is not the worst. I kind of want to up our harvesting side so that we can get this like i said these guys are, like the kohlrabi comes in so fast but it gets consumed just as fast as it comes in and it's just a constant cycle of just fighting this right here and you're waiting on you need storage let's do storage but we don't have any lumber for you to do anything with the storage for um go ahead and pause you you can come over here and clean up this last Pine right here and that's gonna pop here in about four days why are we upset we've got hungry beavers okay day five not bad we're probably going to need more storage for water i foresee this getting to the point where we're going to start seeing anywhere from six to nine day droughts which can be painful if we don't have the right amount of water and I don't want I really don't want to pull from this this is only like one day into it okay so that's three days three days in so that's another nine days before we can pull into that so since we do have this running now I think we can come in here there's no need to hold off on chopping that down so let's get that moving so that we can get some of this other stuff built go storage I want that one to be planks and let's do another storage just because I know that that's going to be a problem at some point not canola oil water goober there we go so that's going how are we doing on berries doing okay kohlrabi is moving now if I had more that's always that's always a thing if i had more if i had more lumber if i had more anything then we could move things along faster but i want to get more power down here but i can't can't do anything during the drought without the power unless we have a lot an excessive amount of logs which this eventually will get us to the point where we can actually dig into these large power wheels but we're not quite there yet and we're definitely nowhere near engines which are going to make things so much nicer for us. But let's look here. Let's look here. There's a bunch of logs there. That is a huge pile of scrap metal. That's a pile of scrap metal. So that's probably... Yeah, that's our closest one. That's going to require some stairs and some platforms, obviously, so that we can get down and over and then down. And then... While doing that, we'll gain access to all of those birch trees. Gain access to... We could crawl down here. Gain access to these berries as well as those oaks. Would be a huge lumber boost for us. Lumber is picking back up because we are clear-cutting all of this. And once this is all gone, we can start planting some of our cassava. Which is going to be great we have power and the power problem solved um how are we doing on the population so we're up to 14 and i believe that's just because we have the um the og if you will the og beavers still floating around a bit longer than or a, a bit you know that they they haven't they haven't passed the reins okay for lack of a better term they haven't passed the reins yet to the next generation so they're still kicking around but so once they uh uh, go and say hello. Oh, let's see. Just like that. Frostlars. Frostlars, you will be missed. 
You're doing great things, my friend. I appreciate you. <clears throat> I appreciate you and everything that you did, my friend. How can you not reach that one, though? My goodness. Hey. Um, probably pause you since nobody's clear cutting any of that. And let's go ahead and get rid of these so they're not filling up spots on that end. And we're going to pop those two down right there. Now, I don't want to tear these berries out, but I want to tear these berries out. Because <laughs> I need more story or more, more area. Now, we can replant them since we do have the forester now. I hate that I'm doing that right now. But we can fill all of this in. The berries right here. Just like this. There. Now we won't be lacking in berries. We'll have them constantly taken care of by somebody at some point. I forgot to pause these guys, so that's a bad thing. Get that pause so we don't completely lose our water. Okay, so we do have a six day or seven day drought like that was that was so that's that's always fun what can we get working now um can unpause that so that they can plant all of these berry bushes and we have nobody working in here because that's paused so shazam ham let's get you back to work man <clears throat> pardon me let's get you to work Let's get you tearing these trees out or berries out so that we can actually get some of this going. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's not do that right now. Let's throw in another storage for all those berries. And then tear them out, shall we? Berries. Give this a priority bump. So that, that gets taken care of. That should only take 15 logs. The 15 there. I should have enough for everything except for that one. Um, yeah. Well, even then. So, that's fine. Everything can get built. Um, yeah. And this is halfway there. So, we're at six days for all this to pop. Um, you're sat on your bum. You can go do something productive with your life. Help Shazam. Lupin Vendetta, get in there. Do something helpful. I'd appreciate it. We'd all appreciate it, sir. Let's see. Let's see here. And then, science is moving. So that's good. That's really, really good. We're almost to the triple floodgates. Just to make sure I need triple floodgates. I do. And I need... So that's going to be 30 logs and 15 planks. Each. So that's going to be 90 logs and 45 planks. Get this all the way across. And then we're going to need stairs or platforms to work in there. To actually put that center floodgate in. But there's 500, so we can go ahead and unlock that path over here. So they can start or have access. They should have access. They haven't put anything in yet. That's fine. Because I set that all to a lower priority, so all of that could get built. Would be fine. I haven't built this over here. I don't know why they didn't actually fill those in. That's okay. It should have... So, yeah. Okay, that's... Uh, priority systems are working as intended. These guys are going to sleep thirsty, though. I'm not sure why they keep doing that. Water here, guys. There's water. It exists. Do the watering thing at the watering hole. Come on, guys. All right. Berry storage is in. We can get all of these berries so we can have a nice backlog or back supply, not backlog, back supply of berries for all of the things. How do I have four vacancies? Before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's intended. You go do something productive. 
You guys don't have anything to cut over here. I never set this to cut. Boom. There we go. You guys go do something productive with your lives. I know I just fired you from one side to go do something else somewhere else. But that's what we need to have happen here. Now we have storage for planks. That's good. I think they're actually... Where do the planks go? Oh, they... Why do they build... I'm not going to ask questions. Huh. That's the side I put in first. That's why they built that side first. Okay. That explains that. How are we looking here? Just under two days before that pops. That's good. Got a few of these uh, pine seedlings that are nearing adulthood. There goes one. And we do have one spare beaver. Can we get him in there to chop all those down? We've got 1.6 days left in this drought. So that's looking good. This is coming along slowly, but as soon as this all pops in, that should go up that much faster, which will be great. Now, I do need to unlock... I think I want to do double platforms just so we can get in here. So that'll cost two there. That's going to be eight planks and eight logs. Which we should be able to facilitate. Waiting on two planks there. That's going to have to wait for this next um, water or next, <laughs> next temperate cycle. Wow, I know how. Again, I know how to do the English language. It's fine. That's fine. What can we be doing now, though? Could, uh, no, you can't really build a hauling post because we don't have the planks. Don't need any more storage yet. Throw in a decoration somewhere? I don't know where I would throw that in because there's not there's not a place where they congregate at the end of the day um, to actually do anything. But here we go. Here we go. These are popping in. Let's go. So that's what we want to see. All of that moving. That's going to be a huge plus. Huge, huge plus. It's sticky. One nine in there. And myself, I guess. <laughs> in there. Um, working that. We're still working 19 hours a day. And there's the end of our drought. Let's get that up. So having one of these running for three days didn't drain the uh, the reservoir, but it almost did. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was almost a tragedy, almost a travesty. Um, no, gravity did not go. Oops. Okay, guys, it's fine. It's fine. But this got filled up pretty fast. He hasn't even touched all of this yet. Um, position not being filled. Should be two of those. Turn this back on. And we'll drop the priorities on these for now. We're doing okay on science. We're not doing great on science, but we need those planks. We need those planks so we can build this. And we need these logs so we can do that. We have five positions not filled. Those are full. I should have these set as max priority. I think? No. Nope, not quite ready for that yet. Maybe. Maybe? No. Do we unpause the other... We're getting to the point where it's kind of hard to keep up with the demand. Um, we have no science workers at all. As mentioned, science is doing fine. So this went in. That's cool. That's a cool story, bro. But there's no need for you to be in at 2.5. We'll drop that to zero. They are placing levees. So that's going in. We have... Planks being made, so that's good. Logs are being put in. Let's unpause that. And I don't know where I can save a beaver. I guess I'll fire myself to go 
plant more trees. <laughs> Why not? Why not? A. Okay, I do need. We need more more space here. So I'm not gonna completely eradicate all of those, but I can tear out a portion of them. Um, two hundred. Two hundred with. So that'd be maximum five days if I had a population of twenty plus, right? Maximum of a five day drought. Right now we have a maximum of a ten day drought with the current population. I believe is how that math runs, right? So if I want to expand the population, I'm gonna need to expand our storage water means burning logs which means oh well that's going in fast that's great as soon as that gets built right there which it looks like we've got somebody coming over throwing some logs in for us this is this is moving along fantastically Go ahead and start putting in some additional pines in here. We can get those on the grow. Uh, yeah. No, this is, this is great. This is great. Okay, there's our next route warning. How are we doing on this? Waiting on 15 planks. We have six in the queue. Or six already built. A, we have the storage for the max to get all of that in here. And then during the drought this will continue to cycle in and out so i'm not too worried about that that'll be fine this this will be fine and during the drought we can save some of these positions so that we can get them working elsewhere so that this get our science moving again and we'll let them keep working on that but i think we're to the point where we can actually start putting in a place for them to sleep. Because we gotta, we you have to make the beavers happy at some point, right? You can't just expect them to be sad little beavers for the entirety of their lives. We gotta give them, we gotta give them good food. We gotta give them good, good water. We gotta give them all of the great things. Okay, if you're not doing that, then what are you doing? You gotta, you gotta make sure these little guys are as happy as be really possible. Reminds me, we should probably do something about that. I want to go about well-being. Hmm. 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 Do we get our beavers a shower? Because they be stanky beavers right now, and nobody likes a stanky beaver. You know, we gotta, we gotta make sure that they're happy. We do need a teeth grindstone, though, because I, I have noticed that one one of them was running around with a chipped tooth. To do that. Um, where am I lacking workers? Those four and that one. And y'all are sat in your bum. Not helping. Just go ahead and pause you. Because <clears throat> I need these trees chopped down, which is why that wasn't moving. Which is why... Well, let's drop that one. Um, that's why our lumber wasn't moving as fast as I wanted it to. Yep. <clears throat> um, so I need nine more planks. Which means... Pause one of these. I want 
that build. Go to there. All right. Um, there's our drought. It's a nine day drought. Based off of our quick maths earlier, should be fine. Should be fine. But we can pause these guys down here. They ain't doing nothing for us right now. That's eight planks sitting in here. That's one shy of what I would like to have had. And there's no movement there, so we're not going to get any additional planks out of that. Just sad. Uh, you hate, you hate to see it. Um, I don't care to give that a priority bump, but I need you guys to build this, please. Can we get that built? You have two workers here, so you guys should be able to accommodate. That should not be a problem. Come on, I want to I wanna get this in. Okay, now we're out of planks, officially. Okay. As soon as the drought's over, we'll have our last plank ready to rock. Or, or, hear me out. How many, how many have we got here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's 20, that's 40 logs. We have 30 on hand. Nah, that's not worth it. I'm going to pause you, though, because we don't want to destroy our irrigation here. Let's, uh, let's prep the battle space, though, for our cassava. Let's do that. And I think, I think, should have enough space to put in a power wheel here. Yeah. And then I'll have enough space to put in the gear workshop next to it. So I'm going to put this in, but it's going to be the lowest priority. And then right next to it, we're going to get the gear workshop unlocked. Or do I want to do stairs? I think gear workshop is the smart maneuver so that we can do stuff like, uh, you know, get those large water tanks up and running and we can put in a small storage go ahead and drop the priority just a smidge on that one small storage here for our gears and then probably put in the small storage over here as well for logs right here and right here just so that they can have easy access to all this Probably ridiculous, and it kind of looks a little sus, but that's a different story. We're not going to talk about that, and we're going to move on. Cool. Threes are coming in. Back in again. So, due to the little, little worker snafu that we had, I got a little backed up right here, but that's uh, nine days out. This is about four days out from popping if i'm doing my quick maths all right we've got 36 logs on hand that's gonna be 48 there yeah 48 there and then an additional uh there we go 24 plus uh, 26 logs so that's moving along nicely once these three are built and finish the shoot right there That'll be good. I think we have the lumber situation under control. This did all pop up though, so let's see where we can pull in the body because we don't we don't really want any more seedlings on this side because I want to expand our our farmland to the uh, to the west here. We've got to move to the west, is what they say. I don't think anybody actually says that, but I, I just said it, so... <laughs> Somebody said it at some point. Question mark? I'm Ron? No, you're Ron Burgundy. And we're back to the Ron Burgundy jokes. I apologize for nothing. <laughs> um, We can tear all this out now because there's no need for that. There's no need. We've got enough berries here. 
And those those beavers can do beavery good things. Probably should have done the smart thing and put another storage in here for more berries, but it's it's fine for now. Our population should be okay. Should be being the operative term here. Come on. So uh, I think I think we'll be good. Um 18 logs on hand. This is moving in. They finally did get to all that, so I think we can officially finish filling that side in. So that's good. So should be a simple just up up to three and then it just runs straight off the side no issues there whatsoever in the future probably blast this down a little bit so it doesn't have to raise up here the lower it is the less it actually propagates the 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 ick if you will as the as the youngins call it these days the ick needs to not spread <laughs> um but yeah, that, that i think i think i think we'll be good don't have access to that right there though you guys can't reach that um do i really need to put in a lumber mill or a lumberjack flag right there because that that that'd be ridiculous can you thing there though no but can you no do i need to do the thing i will i will path down here for no reason other than to just prep to catch all these trees when they pop up you know i i will do the ridiculous things for you game it will happen you can't reach that yeah it's too far from the district um hmm don't believe that this would actually work but we could try it i, I believe i've seen in some instances like if you just have a path nearby something <clears throat> then they can get over there and do the thing but it looks like in this instance it didn't work as advertised it's gonna and that didn't happen right there. We're going to erase that path. You didn't see nothing. Uh, but in order to get down there, I will tell them not to replant this line. So then when that gets chopped down, we can get in there and, and clear all of that out. That's going to be a problem because they are going to spread again. They spread like weeds, which I'm not upset about, you know. <clears throat> it's it's a good thing. Because that means there more there's there's more berries for us to get get into our hands. Okay? And and we like have we like having food. I like food. If you like food, you know, no one's going to complain about having free food. Especially when it just pops out of the ground like that, right? Who would fight you on that? I'm not going to fight you on that. Okay, this levee is coming in nicely. And our wood storage or our wood farm is back up in cycle. So that's good. And these guys will continue working on that throughout the day. Let's keep it at 18. I think 18 is a good round number. Work on there. Um, leave... You're fired, Ashley. Come over here. Oh, wait. We already had Kissy Kitten in there. Hey, okay. Science is at 213. Water's almost out. Let's get that up and running. Ashley, get in there. Go do some water pumpage for us. Let's see that happen. And once uh, that gets up and running, I think we'll be... We'll be Gucci. We'll be we'll be living in the free world, rocking in the free world. I'm loving it. That's gonna be a lot of lumber right there, and all this is gonna pop here soon, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did mark all that. Good, good, looking great. <laughs> 
I should not have done this. I should have straightened this line out. <laughs> and there goes all of the water. Oops. Uh, 2.1 days and 2.8 days. Thankfully, they're a little resilient. Thankfully. Get that closed. That's closed. Or not closed. Open. That's open. Um, great. Let's uh, not pause you. Drop you down. Let, um, no, not you. I want you up. Get you running, and we need that running as soon as possible. Where can I pull in? There. <clears throat> Let's see here. Do I need you working right now? No. Paused. Should be good. Where can I pull in somebody else? That's science is paused, so that's not good. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where can I pull a body from? I do have two kits growing up here soon. We are going to get our last log or plank in, which should finish that. Just needs needs one guy to come over here and slap that thing. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Get this back up to normal priority. So all of these logs can start going into this. Which means we'll have gears, which science-wise, we're nowhere near getting the medium tank. No, we have enough. For the medium tank. We just don't have enough logs or gears for the medium tank. Once we have the medium tanks on hand, I think we can we can start fussing up our population here. We can turn this guy on. Get that breeding pod running. We can get our population up to probably 20, if not even push it into the 30s. I think that'll be good. Wouldn't be too upset about that. I do. Oh, I'm. I have. I have so many things that I, <laughs> or so many thoughts that I want to do or actually execute. But it's all dependent on just storing preparation for the next cycle. Uh, I hate building these. I really, really despise building these because they just, they take up, they take 15 logs and they hold so little in the way of water, right? But by getting that in, I, I don't, I don't want to do that now, but we're, we're at a point where we're juggling bodies and that's not where we want to be. Like I like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, don't want to be juggling bodies forever. So we gotta we gotta keep up with the population requirements. So that's in, that's good. We need to drop this down to seventeen. It, it is a drought that's coming up, so I'm not too upset about that. Droughts are fine. Um and pull us up to one point five though. It's not gonna do much for us, but it'll save us a little bit of water. <laughs> <laughs> It'll save us something, I guess. Um, planks are moving. Why are you... Why are you doing the things? Sir, settle down. We don't need you going insane in there. That's not what we need. Now, it is at the 17-hour mark, so they should be coming over here and filling this in. Good. Cool. Logs, good. This is coming in, so that's got 35 more logs to get put in there, and then we'll have power throughout the bad or throughout the drought. It will consume our beaver energy. We'll have to put beavers in there to do that. Um, 
but during the drought we we're going to be kicking people out of the pumps anyway so i'm not too upset by that we do have a few hour or a few hours left before the next drought i want to fill these new tanks in as much as possible so we don't have to keep pumping throughout the drought now this is going to be a cycle four drought so it's probably going to be a bit longer than the last couple cycles i hope not i've seen i've seen the game decide to go just just hog wild and make your life living living hell <laughs> for lack of a better term uh this early in the system or into the cycles but it's fine is what i want to tell myself it's probably not gonna be fine probably not gonna be fine we're gonna try our best though we're gonna do our best Got Shia, Yepi, and Ariella in there. They should be coming over here and tearing that out. What are they building currently? Uh, water storage is at 226 out of... 251 out of 300. That's not bad. Food's coming along. They're not doing anything with the cassavas because I haven't actually gave them... Out means to do anything with the cassavas but we can start storing it get this over here get this built that's gonna be cassavas and we're gonna do fermented cassavas on this side and i think on this back end we're gonna toss in our fermenter now this should transfer power even if there aren't any beavers running in it so when we do have, um, do have power running through the system via our compact water wheel, then it should be good. I didn't realize that they had already built this here workshop. So Cat, you're fired. Go do something productive with your life um, until we can get this up and running, which just needs 15 more logs. So that's that's great that is glorious get that in and let's go ahead we'll fill out the rest of this with pine please oh, i can't okay that should be okay this is coming in that's going in and i think we can come over here and unpause that you need to pause youtube because duh. um <laughs> we're a 10 day drought I didn't even look at it. Ten days. Ten days of this pain and chaos that we will be living through. But. I think that's for next time. I'm going to drop their working hours. I think I think we've worked them. They've been worked hard. Okay. <laughs> These guys are working hard for no reason. <laughs> Get out of the power wheel. Go do something else for now. We'll get you we'll get you guys working here soon. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You even reach that. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy uh or had fun hanging out with me, play with our beers. It's always a blast uh, starting out a new map, dealing with all of the new challenges, trying to get everything up and running as smartly as uh, beaverly possible. And then remembering that you completely forgot to do simple things like put it in a, uh, a dam. <laughs> but I think this is a good start. I'm pretty happy with it. Things are moving. We've got food. We've got water. We've got beavers moving. We've got science moving. We've got our forester up. We've got, we've got everything rocking and rolling. I think this is a pretty solid start. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to catch you guys later. I hope you guys always remember to keep your beaver hydrated. Make sure you're hydrated yourself. And always, always remember to stay thirsty, my friends. I'm out. See ya. Thanks for watching. See you next time.